How common are bank robberies in China? Bank robberies are steeped in American culture and even glamorized. Just think of Butch Cassidy and Bonnie and Clyde. But they aren't very prevalent in China, and that's maybe because of the ban on civilian ownership of lethal weapons and banks' minor role in traditional China. There have been a few instances of bank robberies here, though, and according to the BBC, the last major one happened in 2007 in Hebei Province. Two bank managers embezzled over seven million dollars from the Agricultural Bank of China, but were later caught and sentenced to death. Well, in late November, another instance popped up. This time, of an ATM bank robber who used a brick to knock ATM users unconscious and steal their money. Although each of his robberies were caught on security camera, he managed to steal 80,000 yuan from four different people before being arrested. And to put that in American figures, that's about 12 and a half thousand dollars. Everyone is used to petty theft here, and the ATM thief hit a new low that unimpressed Chinese microbloggers all over. I guess I'll need to wear a helmet when using the ATM in the future. The earth is too dangerous. Even this kind of news makes the headlines. Isn't this essentially spreading bad ideas and teaching others how to steal money? This kind of person should be immediately shot for being this ruthless. This is too vicious. He doesn't even hesitate before hitting people with the brick. Why was he able to attack four people at the same place before being arrested? Friends. Pay attention to your safety. The Chinese New Year is approaching, and those who are willing to hurt others for money are getting ready. When you're out to withdraw money, it's best to have two or three friends with you. Indeed, a lot of disgust there from Chinese citizens. We'll cross over now to our web guest Tian Yi for some final thoughts on the matter. Actually, I didn't think bank robbery happened in China that often, but we still should be cautious. So when we use eight M in bank. Firstly, I think we must pay attention to whether there's someone standing close to you. Secondly, we ought to protect our password. If you find someone approaches you when you enter password, you should immediately stop the operation. Thirdly, try not to withdraw money too late. And if you want to withdraw lots of money, you should find a friend with you. Finally, after withdrawal, don't forget your bank card. In a word, just be alert. That's it for Microcross. Next up, we have a special Christmas jingle for you. Join us for some holiday cheer when we get back.